out of their offices and onto the streets. Government and bank workers walked off the job for two days in a new bid to pressure Sudan's military to hand over power to a civilian-led council. And the opposition coalition is warning they'll go even further if the military doesn't meet their demands. The next step will be civil disobedience if the military council does not accept the demands of the Sudanese people. Also, if the rapid deployment forces continue to harass people as happened in Ghadarif and some areas of Khartoum, they will cause violence and will try to push the country into such a direction. But we will not be led into any form of violence regardless of their provocations. The message came after the military council, which came to power after ousting President Omar al-Bashir in early April, said that it won't hand over power to a government that is not elected, and that talks to form a transitional government must include all parties in the country. Talks between the military council and the opposition coalition to form a transitional government were suspended in mid-May, after the two sides failed to agree on who will lead the transitional period. The military council says if no progress is made, it will call for elections before the end of the year, a move rejected by the opposition. Amid the stalemate, a sitting continues outside the army headquarters. On Wednesday, a dispute between factions of the military led to the death of one female protester and the injury of several others. Two weeks ago, protesters accused the military of shooting at them, resulting in the deaths of at least six people and the injury of more than 200 others. Protesters are concerned that there will be more catastrophe like the one two weeks ago. Many rushed to defend their fellow protesters. People have become more cautious, more tense that the military might try to do something. The risk of violence doesn't put off protesters who remain outside the army headquarters for the seventh week. They say they won't go until a civilian government is in place and their revolution is complete. Hiba Morgan Al Jazeera, Khartoum.